Payments, Management and Legal How to Run Your Online Business Properly Moderated by Tal Itzak Ron Tal Ron, Dream & Co With Ido Hatchman Greenhouse Apps Paula Zuloni ConnectPay And Genia Gurevitz Tal Ron, Dream & Co Wow. Wow. Okay. So I'm Tal Ron. I think that's, uh, I think that's the best stage that I've ever seen uh, in any gaming event, actually. It's so cool and uh, very, very nicely you know, presented. And I think that this Sigma for this year was really surprising everybody because everybody thought that at the end of the pandemic, it will be like a low-key event. But I think that what a man and the Sigma family managed to do is like a miracle. Different, four different events. I was also going to the other one at uh, the other place. And I can tell you that we, we, everybody was shocked in, in an amazing way. Like I know a man like since, since 2014. So <clears throat> to say it's shocked, I was, every time I'm surprising more and more in a good way. So first of all, thank you for the Sigma team. And let's start with an applause for the Sigma team. <laughs> so thank you. Now in this panel, I got some of the most busiest people in the industry in, 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 on the same stage to discuss issues that, for me, as a gaming lawyer, as a financial lawyer, is something that we found, find all the time very challenging. And some of the, those topics are pe people are speaking not even on emails or not even on Skype, but maybe face-to-face -face because they're sensitive. It doesn't mean that necessarily there are no solutions, because there are. But today, we'll, we'll discuss some of those topics regarding marketing and compliance and payments and licensing. We don't have a lot of time, so we'll touch them briefly, but I also want you to meet the great people that I have here on stage, and let me introduce them one by one. Let's start from my immediate right. This is Ido Chachmon, and if you're Israeli, you know that <laughs> is like a very, very, very popular, uh, you know, popular sound in Hebrew. Yesterday we were discussing it with Vilte from Connect Pay, that <laughs> is something that, you know, if you come and visit Israel, you need to know how to do it. But, you know, when you are not Israeli, uh, you, you can call it ch. So Ido Hachmon is uh, the CTO of uh, Greenhouse Apps. Greenhouse Apps, they're also an app developer. They're also a technology company. In Israel, they're, um, they're also uh, on, on, the, on the route to get uh, the, uh, the tax benefit and the tax break as a licensed technology exporter but they're also an affiliate network and also a performance agency. And Ido Hatchmon uh, is very young, born in 1991. Uh, in Israel, either you do university or you do uh, like a long military service or you do both. Uh, I think that uh, Ido is a smart guy, so actually he skipped university, but he did, uh, had, a, had a like cool service in, the, in a very elite unit in the, in the, in the Israeli army. And then right after that, uh, you founded your own startup, you sold it, and then you did another thing as uh, an employee, and now you have Greenhouse Apps uh, with your partner, Tomer, and you see some of those great people here uh, sitting. So thank you, Ido, for joining us here. Open. Make, it, it makes the magic like this, and if not, we'll have uh, maybe someone can help. Doesn't work? Okay. Thank you, Tal. It's a pleasure to be here. Out of batteries. Uh, no, I think. Ah, okay. Now, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's move move forward, and hopefully, we'll get. Can we get a, uh, for my friend Ido uh, a working microphone? Thank you. Let's see if it works. Ido, can it work? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Tali. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Next, the queen of payments. The queen of payments, and uh, I think that we don't need even to introduce uh, Paula. When I was with Paula uh, in our dinner in the Talon dinner in in Amsterdam. You know, there were three uh, uh, places left because they po probably went for shopping before the dinner. And then everybody was asking, who are those guys who, who, are, who, who are we waiting for? And then when we heard that they're, they're connect pay, wow, is the connect pay there? Does Paula ke coming? And I said, yeah, it's Paula. Wow, we are chatting with her like two years already on Skype. She has our uh, accounts and everything. And we want to see her in real life. So this is Paula. 
And many of our clients are a fan of Paula. And Paula uh, is from Connect Me. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Tal. You're too sweet. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm super excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. And, uh, again, Paula is a very busy person from Vilnius. Last, probably also, a guy that I cannot run my office without uh, Jenna Gurevich. Jenna Gurevich has been working with me like five years or six years already. Uh, born in uh, Belarus, moved to Israel with his family in age of two. Uh, I think he's one of the only Russian speakers that actually, um, you know, completed law degree in the best university in Israel, which is Tel Aviv University. Most of the Russian speakers in Israel goes to mathematics or goes to computer science. He wanted to go on law. Now he's finishing his uh, second degree in law with the Berkeley University. And this is Jenny Gurevich, a cool guy in general. Uh, head of banking and payment services in my team, and also the general manager. Also, thank you so much, Genia. Th thank you, Tal, for the kind words, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Thank you, guys. Let's let's start. Let's start about compliance, okay? Because we're here in Malta, and everybody is speaking about compliance and compliance and compliance and compliance and regulation, regulation. And if we're in Malta, we say regulation. No, actually, if it's Western, and I can tell you, the Maltese people. Every time I'm coming here, I see, again, the friendship and the, and the heart and the warmth that we get from the Maltese people. And, and this is why I really think that Malta is not only a gaming hub, it's a real community. And when I want to discuss regulation, it's not necessarily an MGA regulation or Curaçao regulation. I'm speaking about regulation in general and compliance in general that we all see is an on the steady increase. And I want to understand from each one of you, how does regulation and compliance touch you in your daily operations? Do you think it is an, something with an advantage, a, a, a nuisance, a challenge? Let's start with Mr. Ido Hachmon. So um, in, in my personal opinion, we, we're working with uh, mainly regulated, regulated work. Wait. So we're working mainly with regulated brands only because only regulated. Can I hear you, Ido? Do it like this. Can you hear me? Okay. Better now. So um, as ClickTac affiliate network, we work only with regulated brands. And um, I, I would say regulation is a, a mandatory thing for, uh, for a brand to, to even start working with us. Um, I would say there's, there's no... Uh, um, if I understand correctly, let me, let me try and, and, and understand. What do you say that for you as a company, we'll you don't have any other choice to work regulated, if I understand correctly? No, no, there's no other choice. So for, for a company to start working with us, for a brand, and uh, uh, whether if it's an affiliate network or if it's uh, another casino brand, one of the biggest no-goes is no regulation. So uh, we prefer normally to work with the MGA. Curacao is also an option, but uh, Understood. I believe it's, it, it's, not, it's not even a question. It's a mandatory. I'm not sure. It's so let me repeat, guys, because I don't know if the microphone went well. So I'll repeat what I just understood from Ido. And it again brings me to what Jenny and I saw with, uh, with Paula also in, in Amsterdam. We saw a plethora in the IGB event. Actually, I, I did not see that big uh, percentage here. But in the IGB event, we saw a big, big, big percentage of even non-regulated brands. Non it means not even a Curacao license. And again, IGB has a big influence on the industry. And it's a, it's a big event. It was in, in Amsterdam. We saw so many, though, so many unlicensed operators and unlicensed payments providers. And what you just said, that for you, as a technology provider, as an affiliate network, as a performance agency, for you, the minimal standard is to make sure that your partners will work by the book. Is that correct? Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you so much, Ido. Thank you. Regulation touches also payments. And of course, we have here Paula. Paula, you know, you're coming with an EMI. First of all, I want... Please explain what's an EMI, what's the difference between an EMI and a bank, and how compliance touches you in your daily operation. All right, so okay, so Connect Pay is an EMI, as you tell mentioned already. Uh, we have actually very similar to the bank, we just have a slightly different license. But the thing is, you know, when it comes to compliance, I think there are a couple of things to, you know, explain and uh, touch. So first of all, if you want to be stable, and that's of course something we want to do because we want to be in a long run and to be, you know, sustainable and to be transparent with our customers. So if you want to be stable, compliance needs to be a fundamental part of your business. And there can be no other things here, no other, you know, choices or anything. You need to adapt. That's what 
we do. Once you grow, you need to make sure that you also learn about new, you know, compliance tendencies, about new regulations. You said correctly that, yeah, everybody is heavily regulated, right? So you need to, well, you need to take care of your business by hiring right people and by making sure that your compliance team is big. In Connect Pay, we have like half of our people working in compliance. And we do that in order to make sure that our compliance works for our customers and not against them. So we don't want to be a business that just, you know, goes on, put all of the rules for our customers and then just, you know, says, deal with that, right? No, we want to invest on the relationship, on the continuity and make sure that business of our customers grows accordingly. And this is how Connect Pay become the second largest TMI in Lithuania. Absolutely. And, and you know what's well, fun? You would think that a company that has half of their employees or close to half of their employees working in the compliance team will be something which will be like very, I don't know, impossible to work with because they'll, they'll find ev everything that they could do to drill and to throw out the client. You know, yesterday, you know, uh, we discussed it with several people, you know, across the, the, the hall. But the fun stuff is that when you actually have compliance teams that know the gaming or the e-commerce and they do it well, and some of them are coming like for 10 years of experience, you know, we have like people like Simas who, you know, worked also in other places and, uh, and you have Marius, he's the CEO, but he's beforehand was a CTO and he knows payments on the tech and on also on the financial and compliance. I think that also makes a company like you special that the, the compliance are not going against the, uh, the, the client. It doesn't mean that it will accept any client, but the, the, the process in my eyes looks, looks, looks good. Yeah, and look, this is in order to save us and to order to protect our customers, right? Because we want to be sure that you are keeping your money safe. And one day it will not be in the cases where we have so many, you know, examples from our customers where one day they have funds with so easy working, you know, EMI of some sort, don't know how regulated, nobody knows how licensed, but they can do payments and, you know, after, what, two months, they cannot do anymore. Their money is, what, frozen and this is it. So, you know, we heard those stories so many times. We don't want to be that way. We want to make sure that our customers are happy. They have their funds stably held with us. They can do business with us. And, Understood. you know, we build our processes and our compliance around gaming industry, too. So we are experts in the field. We know how it works. We know how to make it easy, as easy as possible, but also stable, transparent, reliable. Thank you. Thank you, Paola. I, I cannot agree more. And, and uh, you, you spoke, you gave something that I really, I really it, for me, touched because it's something that affects our, our business. You, you spoke, and that w w I think the third sentence you, you said, just said from, from the last one, you, you spoke about, let, let's say, payment service provider with or without a license that suddenly you spoke about... For, Blocking of funds, you know, here, we're here in Malta, everybody knows what happened one, one and a half years ago with, I, remember, I think it's one and a half, with SATA Bank and, you know, the, the other SATA banks all around the world. Genia, our head of banking and payments, you know, uh, uh, we also deal with this type of, let's say, uh, how we, can we do it? I don't know how to say it in Quote. English. Quotes. Uh, quotes or, uh, I don't know. We call it payment service providers, but they don't even, they don't have any license to do anything. And uh, Genia, what, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so, so from our experience, we deal with uh, many what we call like red flags. We get approached a lot by many payment institutions and one of their strongest selling points, get this, that they're not FATCA or CRS compliant. This is uh, one of their selling points. And this is quite peculiar and also very intimidating for us because we don't put in arm's length ourselves and our clients and I think working with this type of uh, clients or uh, providers is very dangerous because first of all you don't know what will happen tomorrow with clients funds just in passing days we heard about some payment institution that falsify chargeback claims and I couldn't believe it I saw like a fake swift a swift that we actually wanted to validate it with the other counterparty. And the, the paying party said, listen, this is like a falsified transfer confirmation. For sure, it was it never been sent from our bank. And I was just shocked. I thought this 
type of things does not exist. But then... Yeah, so, so from our experience, compliance is not just like a cool thing to say. It's not like name dropping. For us, it's like uh, stability to your business. It's stability with your banking partners, with your technology providers. You have more uh, trustworthiness within the community, within the industry. So from our perspective, it's very important. Jenny, do you remember, you know, we have like a policy that we started, I think, only in the last year. I think that every event that we speak in, we have like, during the event and after, we got lots of like LinkedIn messages, emails with fake profiles. And, you know, you know how you, you know it's fake. Normally, you don't have any picture. Normally, you don't have mutual friends. Normally, you have like a stage name, etc. Or someone approaches you via WhatsApp. I don't have Telegram because Telegram... Or Proton Mail. Sorry? Or Proton Mail. Proton Mail is my favorite. Proton Mail. Yeah, the one that you can never know who's behind that email. At the end of the day, all of these guys are, are telling me, come tell, be a partner of us. You know, you, we can give best rates 8%, 8%, 10% rate. And imagine, if you, t you charge 8% or 10%, what type of business are we speaking about? You know, you got, you got my point. We will not need KYC. We don't need a rolling reserve. You know, this is an advantage. You speak with a bank. There are also banks here in the event, you know, banks. Yeah, we don't have CRS reporting duties. We don't have factor reporting duties. You can do whatever you want. Listen, for some clients, it can be an advantage. In this panel, hopefully we all understand in this hall, and people who come here to Sigma with their face, with their name tags, understand for this industry to contain and to be sustainable, this should be cleaned. No more carboys. That's very, very, very much important. And this is, I think, it's a message that many of the people here agree. People can work on casinos and be licensed, even if it's Curaçao, as long as it works by the book. Um, Paula, so now, you, as you said, you, you, you grew from, I don't know, number 20 to number two uh, in, in quite rapid amount of time, uh, short time in, in Lithuania which I see as, as, as a banking uh, capital. It has cool banks, it has cool EMIs, and it has cool people in general, but with very, very difficult names, you know? Very, I cannot, like, I'm Talas Ronas, but, uh, you know, if, if you know the Lithuanian, uh, um, like, format of, of, of naming, but it's, uh, for me, I, I cannot say most of the surnames. What, how you see, like, Connect Pay grow in the next five years? Uh, so, you know, our main goal is to become from the niche EMI that once was just a small, you know, fintech there to become a billionaire company and then to make sure that we are one-stop shop for all payment needs there. So what we, uh, what we are doing actually and right now and what we started and how we became that number two uh, company um, and, uh, you know, number two EMI in Lithuania is because we always listen to what is needed for our customers. So, you know, we see the tendencies, we ask them what they need, they say we need, you know, product, we need payment initiation service, let's like, say. Like, and you we added, it. like you added the invoice, you know, this is something which is very special with you, because one of my clients asked you, listen, can we add that feature that every time we get a payment or, or, or wire a payment, we can add automatically the contact or the invoice without going right. and asking back and forth, that's... Right, and that's what we did as well, you know, all our features that we build, every single of them, is because we were asked by our customers. We don't go ahead, do you know something, and then say, hmm, I don't know if somebody is going to use it or not, you know, because this is not how it works. It should be opposite, you know. We hear the feedback, we need, you know, I don't know, we need new app, we need new feature of that, we need four eyes principle, we need payment initiation, we need banking as a service. We go ahead, we build it all. What so about credit card acquiring? Did. That's everybody asked me, listen, connect pay, you know, it sounds like, like, a, like a visa or... Will you do some sometimes in the, I don't know, in the future, credit card acquiring as well? Absolutely. This is on, you know, what we're working for. Okay, here. that's yeah. good. That, you know, I, I can tell you that probably there is a demand for Russian cars like Mir. Lots of, you know, dating websites focusing on the Russian markets. And I think that no one actually knows how to, 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 to you know, to acquire it except for a pl Platron Bank in, in Russia. Lots of niches that are still untapped. And I think that there are lots of places where ConnectPay and also other innovative companies can, can get inside. And, and, and of course, you can all be free and speak with, with the ConnectPay team because I know they're always open for new ideas. Thank you, Paula. Uh, Ido, you know, five years, five years in, in this industry, no, no one knows with five years, but I want to hear from you. Where do you see your companies will evolve in five years? Uh, indeed, five years is a very, very long time for this industry. It's changing rapidly every single day. Um, 
we're going towards a multi-vertical. We started in mainly Forex and CFDs, and now we're going to casinos and sports betting. And we so, still so now, so now, you know, if I understand correctly, you are mainly focused as an affiliate network and as a performance agency on Forex, CBD, Nutra, gaming, right? Mm -hmm. you, you think right. that in the next five years you will stay there or you'll move into other verticals? I think five years is, again, a really, really long time from now. In one year, we're going to be uh, multi-vertical all over. Uh, five years, who knows? It's going to be... <laughs> cool. I think that uh, at uh, least in five years, we'll still enjoy what we do. Guys, is there any questions from the audience? We have like a full house today, which is really fun. Any questions? Any questions? We're starting on time, <clears throat> ending on time. I want to please join me to uh, uh, thank our great panelists that we have here. Ido Hatchmon from Greenhouse Apps. Thank uh, you. Paula Zulene with a dot above the E from ConnectPay, Head of Accounts and Queen of Payments. And Mr. Jenny Gurevich, lawyer. Thank, thank you. you so much from Tel Aviv. Head of Banking and Payment Services and Talron Drymen Course. Thank you so much. I'm Talron. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>